Jim Shun books I picked up at Free Rivers Comic Con. Well, basically, these are going to be the signatures and the artwork that I picked up, and I'll do a part two video of all the books because I got like a stack about that big. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to share some thoughts about the show, and I'll just probably just start off with the thoughts. And I'm going to be coming at this from a, a comic book collector's point of view, not somebody that does cosplay or buys jewelry, knickknacks, or clothing or anything like that. So basically, everything I bought there was strictly comics and uh artwork so just putting that out of the way so overall the show it always gets a double thumbs up for me uh, i'm not giving the hometown uh <laughs> here it's just a great show it's one of my favorite shows it's so relaxed in there it's always just uh you can look through the whole you know you can probably get through it everything in a whole whole day if you wanted to i went but i went two days because i did pick up some artwork from and i'll show that later but <clears throat> but just so relaxed, uh, plenty of space. Uh, yeah, every other con I've gone to, I feel like you know, a sardine going down the aisles and stuff like that. And it just, it's just, it's nice and wide open. It's a, it always gets a thumbs up for that, just because of that point of view. As far as all the books going, uh, stuff I bought, uh, again, two thumbs up. This is probably my best con um, haul that I've ever had. Uh, and you'll see next video. But prices were pretty good. I mean, and there was stuff for everybody too. Uh, if you're on a budget, I mean, I seen twenty five cent books all the way up to you know thousands of dollars. So it had something for everybody. Uh, There's no reason for nobody had not bought anything there. <laughs> like I said, twenty five cent books. Yeah, you know. hell, they were giving even giving free books away. You know, I mean, yeah, you know, get a graphic novel when you walk in the door and um. Uh, I mean, I was just walking through and people were like handing me books. <laughs> so, again, another great show. Uh, I hope they do it next year. I've seen on Facebook that they might be doing it. So, uh, the the con or the the cons about the con. Um, the only thing I was you know disappointed in was uh, and it wasn't uh, Three Rivers Comic Con's fault at all. So, but uh, Joe Disco canceled he had, i guess he had got another gig at the you know, the week before so i mean i'm not knocking anybody you gotta do your thing man <laughs> so i hope he's back next year so put him on the top of the list uh and while you're if you're watching this uh maybe put ask for larry hama i'd like to hit, see him you know down in pittsburgh one of these times i don't know remember what the last time he is but us joe fans want him back <laughs> want him here we demand it <laughs> but uh so Again, a great show. This is not home. I'm not being a homer, like I said. If I, it was a bad show, I just wouldn't even talk about it. But it's uh, it's my favorite show of all the shows I go to, and I usually go to about yeah between four and five shows. I go to some local. I go to some out of state sometimes too. But but uh, the hometown, uh, <laughs> the Three Rivers Con is my favorite con. It's always the last three years. It's been super. I mean, so if you're in the tri-state area. Please support this con so they keep doing it. Uh, even if you're not, I mean, coming down from New York, Emski361. <laughs> Get on 79 and come all the way down, brother. <laughs> Get on 376. <laughs> and make your way up 51. It's easy. But uh, let me show you some of the books I picked up that I got signed, actually, and some of the artwork I got done. Uh, so. uh, First one I'm gonna show is a uh, Timothy Truman. He did uh, Grim Jack. He was a uh, super nice guy. I mean, we talked a little bit. Uh, he was middle sketching and stuff. I really hate bothering these guys when they're sketching, so I was just like, you know, lingering around until I see him like breaking away. Like, hey, you mind if you can sign this for me? So um, yeah, he did Grim Jack. So of course I got the first issue of Grim Jack signed. You can see it right there. And the uh, newest issue, I was, it's funny, I was walking in a shop and I caught down the corner of my eye and I love this kind of, these kind of books and stuff like that. So this is like basically came out, I think last week maybe. And um, so I, know, I was like, man, that artwork looks really familiar and I just couldn't place it at the, at the time. And I told him this, I was like, yeah, I was just walking by and uh, you know, I looked at it and I was like, oh man, I, who the hell is this guy? And I knew it then it's like, oh yeah. But he uh, did uh, Bubba Hotep, uh, I gotta remember, and the Cosmic Bloodsuckers. So I love this cover. Uh, let me just show that signature again. Sorry about that glare. And since I love that cover so much, I ended up buying the print of it too. So 
that's the whole on the back part of the cover you can see uh what would it be this part right here and he of course he signed it i'm not sure if it's in black it might come up here i'm not sure but but yeah, super happy to have this in my portfolio. Eventually, I want to get this thing hung up. I just love it. I mean, I love that old painted style. Yeah, the painted style. It, and I'm not even sure if it is painted, but it, you know, it just got that old, like that 1980s uh, independent feel to me. So, uh, let's see here. Let's see what I want to do here. Let's do this one. Uh, Brett Breeding was there. Um, I really wanted to get a couple books signed by him, but it was charging five dollars each, and I was like, eh. You know, if it would have been like, yeah, you know, first one free, that would have probably bought a couple more. But I was like, you know, charging right out the bat, that's cool, man. You got to make your thing, but uh, but I ended up getting Superman issue seventy five signed. Didn't really have too much to say. I gave him my money. He's like, yeah, here's your book back. So nice enough guy though. All right, let's see what else we got. I got Wayne Felcher to sign Impulse Issue 23. Super awesome guy. Uh, if you ever go to his, go to a show and stuff like that, um, he's there. Go up there. We were talking about, I was wearing an Eraserhead shirt. Uh, we were having a good uh, conversation about that. Yeah. Super nice guy. Um, let's see here. But yeah, I just uh, had to get that sign. And he has all like a bunch of artwork, um, pages for comics that he inked and stuff like that. He, he's a so he was selling like that. And I found one in the stack that he had a half off price on it. And I ended up buying the issue for this uh, and had him went back and signed it. But I can't find it right now. It's in one of my it's in my book bag somewhere. I was looking for it and I got like a stack of books. So maybe I'll show it in the next video. <laughs> that, that'll be the first book I show. I ended up buying this page off him. He did for uh, Sinesh throughout issue 23 so super happy to, I, I really don't have any of these things and i was showing my daughter like yeah this is how books are made and you know the, the artist you know right on it they're drawn on this page and they end up in a book like this so she was super happy about seeing this but yeah the, my first real page of uh artwork sort of here you know like i got like pages this big but like not the actual yeah different comics and stuff like that so that's pretty cool so and i really like this uh there's he hit a couple more pages so maybe next time when i go back i'm gonna end up picking it up uh ernie steiner was there i had him draw me uh you know monster hulk you know i had to do it he was only charging seven dollars so again if he's at your local show or you know please stop by yeah he's a nice guy so yeah i end up doing this hulk yeah and i like a hulk with a monster look you know and it's just like it looks mean, yeah. <laughs> um, again, check him out. Um, he does great work, and I mean, like I said, if I wanted to, I didn't want. I'm not a fan of coloring. I wish I would have just said, you know, just to give him a couple more bucks there. But uh, I only like I like black and white, so that's just just the way I am. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Ron, friends, <laughs> he's. I try to see him every single time he's in the, the shows and stuff. I, he's just, uh, he's old school, you know, ball buster, you know, Pittsburgh guy. <laughs> but uh, definitely uh, his work, I, I'm a fan of his work. Usually I get another book signed by my, I, I'm like pretty much out of books for him to sign. I mean, I think I got like eight or nine of them signed. I was like, you know, just gonna just buy the, the artwork of them. And I try to buy, you know, between him and Pat Leaf. Last year I got a, uh, had a leaf to do a Catwoman for me, so I'm, I guess switch back and forth every year between the two of them. So I've been just like going on like three years. I've been doing this. So you got to support the Pittsburgh guys, man. But uh, this is uh, he drew this the, the thing for me. I mean, that's just stunning, man. I love it. I have a Thor by him also. So, so I'm, I'm depending on what I'm gonna get next time. Yeah. I want to do Spider-Man, but I, like, uh, I might have him do a DC character next time. <laughs> Mix it up a little bit, but yeah, here's here's another shot of that. Just look at that. Ben Grimm, you know. Looking like he's ready to do some clobbering. Uh, 
Uh, okay, I got two more things to show here. These are pretty cool. I, um, I've never met this there is uh, artist before. It's Martin England. He did um some Aquaman books back in the nineties. Uh, he did a couple other things, but I was you know somebody you know that I'd never uh, met before. You know, so it was cool. That's the kind of people I like stumbled across. You're like, oh yeah, and then the big flashback. Oh yeah, he, yeah. He did the uh, Aquaman without the arm and the big hook and stuff like that. But I'm like flipping through his stuff, you know, like, oh, these are all cool, man. These are cool, you know. Then I stumble across this page, and uh, I was like, so. And I ended up buying this off him. For those that don't know, this is Johnny Nemo. He's, um, yeah, an English badass. London, uh, <laughs> the London pride. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, back in the 80s, uh, me and my buddies were into this guy. He was like, you know, made the Punisher look like a, you know, real candy ass. <laughs> so we all, you know, love this book. And I just like flipping that. And he's like, I was like, oh, man, it's Johnny Nemo. He's like, oh, you're the first one that's ever <laughs> recognized him. I was like, oh, man. And I was like, I'm flipping through. I was like, God, I was like, damn it, I'm going to buy that thing. I was like, how much? And he was like, oh, it's only five bucks. I was like, sold. I was sure to ask that first. But so, yeah, so Martin England did that. And I had only had a, I had a 10 spot on me there, so. Or I had like, I had 20 bucks, so I was going to buy something else off them too. But yeah, I had to get this. But yeah, I, uh, I'm about to start uh, petitioning, uh, I think it was Eclipse, to get this character back in uh, action. <laughs> but yeah, this is so great. Uh, it was like. This brought me back right back to like 1989 or whatever, 1990 or something like that. And all my buddies just like, we, we bought all, you know, it was supposed to be like a six issue uh, mini series and they only end up being three issues long. <laughs> Nobody ever finished it, so maybe they can finish it sometime. But yeah, super happy to have that in my collection. That's going to get right my before late, yeah, portfolio that I collect from all these guys. Um, so like I said, I had a couple extra bucks in my pocket. I was like, oh, I'll just buy, you know, find something else to buy off them too. And I've been wanting a Superman sketch for the longest time. Uh, and this is like, you know, this is great. So, but uh, I'm not sure I was going to turn up on there, but it's all in pencil. And he only uh, charged me five bucks for this too. So and you can tell by the size of it. The size. It looks like it's about a, about a nine by 12, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I, that's what my guess is. But yeah, super happy to have finally have a Superman sketch in my collection. Um, I do need a Batman for somebody who collects Batman a lot. Not to have a damn... Oh, no, I take it back. I got a Norm Brayfogle sketch, so... But I need a, you know, a couple more of those in my collection. <laughs> yeah. So I got these both for 10 bucks. So if he's ever had a show, he has a bunch of artwork laid out already. Uh, please hit him up. Uh, super nice to talk to too. Like I said, all these guys were great to talk to. I mean, some you know we're just you know trying to get stuff done. It's everything's understandable. I'm not like you know gonna sit there and you know, stare at you. But uh, fun, yeah, you know, just having conversations with a lot of these guys. They're like, you, know, you can tell who's real fans of the, the medium and you know who's just there for the bucks. You know? we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but again. It's another great show. Uh, I'll have my haul video coming up shortly here. I got a bag and board everything. I don't like showing everything in bad bags, <laughs> nasty bags. So. <laughs> nasty. Uh, so that'll be next to the my next video. Like I said, I got a pretty nice stack. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.